Hello everybody, you're here with Claru Beauty with your host Claudia Lara. Thank you very much for tuning in. It's been a couple of days since I filmed, so I'm excited to be here today with you all. I hope everybody is doing well. So today is in response of one of you subscribers' requests. And the request was, you saw um, one of my videos on the BB cream of Herborium. Herborium BB cream. Now, this is a product that I tried it for the very first time because of one of you subscribers as well. So it seems to be a favorite. And um, so one of you asked me to compare this to the ITCC cream. Now, I have all travel sizes and small sizes because you know me, I have too much makeup and I like this sizes and still I don't go through them. But uh, I thought it was a good idea and I've been wanting to try this too. So let's compare them, right? Um, so the first thing I have here, BB cream, uh, five in one baby skin effect makeup care face cream. Now this is supposed to be, this is a Korean company, it's supposed to be very clean beauty. Um, and so now the, I forgot how to put this already. <laughs> So let's try. And I have absolutely nothing but my skincare. And today is not a good skin day. You see all the red, you see the purple under my eyes, but I didn't put anything because we want to see how this covers, right? And for what I remember, the reason why this is beloved um, is because how easy it is to apply as I am doing with my hand. I also have a brush here, but I think this is the preferred method because it's so simple to apply and nice and easy and it's supposed to be very clean beauty very good for your skin now the subscriber that asked me about this uh talk about uh roche what is it roche roche you know when you get red i have a little bit of that but not enough to to worry so much um and uh, the question was, which one was better for that? So if any of you out there that know about these products know that response, <laughs> please type it below. Now, in my opinion, uh, or the little bit that I know, is this a boring cream does not make my skin flare up in red. So that's a good thing. So it doesn't make it worse. It feels good in my skin. And right now I apply very little. And you can see the difference. So this is without. So it did cover, because look here. So it does cover red very nicely. But this feels very light, as if I'm not wearing anything. So it is beautiful. And I think in the last video, I compared with the number one, the Chanel. It's a foundation. It's also a clean beauty foundation. made out of the carnelian flower. Actually, I have it right here. And it has become one of my favorite and one of YouTube favorites. Um, so this is another option. Now, when I compare both one on one side, some of you like the BB, the Arborium BB cream better. Um, I think this one feels and uh, works very natural. I mean, look at this, beautiful. No wonder why it's one of your favorite. I was trying to see what color I have. I forgot now, because I know some of them, but probably the lightest, yeah. The lightest, if there's colors on this. So now let's try the CC Plus. Now this has been a best, best, best seller. And this is what I wanted to, to get to. This was made, to my understanding, the owner of it and the founder, she had Rochea. Is it Rochea? I'm sorry, I'm very bad with names. But, um, and she created this precisely for that, to cover all the redness and to not amplify, right? Something that wouldn't make it worse long last, in the long run. So I know this one has a lot of coverage and a little bit goes a long way. I haven't used it in a very long time. So let's see, I am actually gonna apply first here in my hand. Look how tiny little bit. And probably we have a different color, right? Because uh, now when I remember trying this, 
IT Cosmetics, uh, there was not a lot of range of color. But right now, I think they have uh, much more options. Now, even though this was created precisely to be gentle on the skin, to cover redness, I have found, especially with their moisturizer, there's something in there that my skin doesn't like and it would actually make it burn a little bit and my skin gets very red. So it's precisely the other effect. I don't remember if it's the regular moisturizer or there's one that is supposed to take redness away. It makes the complete opposite on my skin. So I don't know, probably I'm allergic to one of the ingredients, but I just want you to know because I was like, isn't this brand supposed to be precisely anti red? But things happen, right? And I have very sensitive skin and so it depends. I don't know what ingredient was affecting it. So here we are. Also so simple to apply. I didn't even uh, apply it with my brush, which is, is my preferred method of applying. But these two products are very like cream, like moisturizers. Uh, I guess BB cream, like, like a tint of moisturizer. And so applying it with the fingers, I think is the best method because the warmth of your fingers, I don't know, it does something. I must say, you know, I've been a little tired of wearing makeup lately. And uh, you know, my skin has been a little sensitive, so I was staying away. I apologize, that's why I hadn't been filming. But these two products feel so nice in my skin, it's not bothering it at all. And I don't know about camera, so this is the IT Cosmetics, and this is the Arborean. I don't know if you can see any difference, because I don't think I can. At least here in real life, perhaps this one has a tint warmer. Uh, so this is a little more light and uh, a tint of more coverage, you know, a little more thickness. Nothing that I could tell if you hadn't told me, you know, like if you blindfold me and give me the products and put them on and you say which one it is, I don't think I could tell you. Not at all. But I do see this a little bit, uh, a tint, a oh, little more coverage, a little more thickness. This one, I don't even feel I have it on. Now, could I pile more? Yes. But even like this, it cover a little bit, but I will want to put a little more um, under my eyes, a little more coverage and a little bit more here. So most likely I could use my beloved Charlotte Tilbury corrector before applying this. Perhaps I could apply it even now or a concealer. But since we're trying these two products, let's apply a tiny little bit of more, right? Um, so I'm applying a little bit of this IT. You know, I'm so happy this subscriber requested this because <laughs> I'm enjoying these products, both of them, really. I don't think you can go wrong in either. Now, um, this subscriber comment asked about the ingredients on both. I did look them up. I'm not an expert on ingredients and they are quite a lot of that. <laughs> and of course they had the sunscreen and they had, um, so I really couldn't tell you uh, which one is better for Rochechea. Am I gonna be, I should have looked that name up before starting and making a hole of myself through the whole video with that name. <laughs> All right. So I apply a little bit more in those areas and now I'm gonna apply a little more BB cream on the other side. Let me clean my fingers since we're not using a brush. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, there you have it, it's lovely. Could I tell a difference? No. IT Cosmetic has a little more coverage. Tiny, tiny, 
a little bit. It's warmer. This one is a little cooler. Let's see wrinkles. I think the uh, boron cream gives a little more blurring effect. I mean, but nothing that I could tell if I was blindfolded and you hand me one of them at a time. Now, which one does it feel more comfortable in my skin? Oof. Again, I don't think um, after they set up, like right now I wouldn't even use a powder. I don't think I could tell uh, that I have them on. Well, a little bit, like if you had put a very light suntan lotion. I think that's what I feel more than anything, the suntan lotion in them. So that is it for today. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do at this moment. Uh, please ring the bell in the right hand corner. Please comment down below, was this useful? Uh, do you know anything about this too? And which one is better for Rochasea <laughs> and for the redness? And anything you can tell us, I think the subscriber and myself will appreciate it. Thank you very much. For me, I love both. I really don't think you can go wrong with either. So thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Bye.